Uh, okay, that worked. There's no have... need to exchange pleasantries. I love having to reset It's rather OBS. pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. Well, that's pretty deep. I don't care. Moving on. <laughs> it's been a while since we first set foot on oh, Inazuma. I'm on so dialogue. many things have happened since then. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah I don't dialogue we've definitely doesn't matter. made some progress on our journey. So, where should we go today? Footsteps, okay. Huh? Hello. Nice. Doesn't want to talk, huh? All right, let's convince him to calm down a little. Um, you don't have an element on you anymore. Yeah. Too late for regrets. Uh. Don't get too close. Uh. Uh. Kill you to keep an element. Huh? So you don't have a vision after all. Seems like I've mistaken you for someone else. Oh. At the very least, you should make sure you've got the right person before you go attacking them. No, oh, keep wait. going. I want to kill Even him. Even when you've got the right person, you shouldn't go attacking them out of the blue. It's dangerous. It's a fancy sword. Have you, you ever got met there? someone by the name of Kaedahara Kazuha? He carries a sword just like you. I've also heard that he possesses an animo vision. That's none of your business. Hmm. Ah, never mind. You don't look like you know anything anyway. I'm wasting my time. That's yucky. He's like my best friend or something, I'm pretty sure. What the heck is this guy's problem? Coming around here, waving that weird sword in our faces, and he didn't even apologize. Seems like a real nutcase. Well, one thing's for sure. No way are we telling him anything about Kazuha. Very smart for once. That is, hey, that's a new reply. Mean. I'm on smart lots of the time. Doubt. Anyway, just to be on the safe side, we should go fight Kazuha right away and tell him to watch his back. Oh? What kind of hunch? A special connection? You mean, beyond already knowing each other? Hmm. Yeah. He's still fighting Maybe still, a so little. Uh, Again, most people look pretty much the same once they start fighting, I don't think so, so but really prove anything. whatever you say, Genshin. Anyway, there's no time to lose. Let's go tell Kazuha so we won't get into any danger. I'm also gonna Paimon heard that fired. the Crux fleet is stocking up in Rito at the moment. Let's look for him there. Yes, we're there. A strange and friendless road. Oh, that's not depressing or anything. Look like somebody I need to talk to. Hey! Uh, hello! Do you know where Kazuha is? <laughs> You're looking for Kazuha too, huh? Guess he must have done something impressive after all. Oh. <laughs> well, we took the small vessels into Rito on a routine supply run, only this time, as soon as we entered the harbor, we ran into a huge crowd of Inazumans, all of them wanting to know about Kazuha. I mean... If it's because of that battle on Nizuchi Beach, Captain Beto had a great run there too, but I don't see her getting this kind of no, attention. No, I think it's from something Kazuma later keeps on to in himself the story, most of the sure. time. In fact, there are times when he doesn't even listen to the captain, but she just laughs it off. <laughs> oh, so you still don't know what he did. I've heard bits and pieces. Something about him blocking the Raiden show... Paimon's voice still Nohito pisses Tachi. you off? It's tossed. Yes. Is, is it really as big a deal as everyone's yes. making it out to be? Okay. Okay, now that there's a pause where I can stop. Thank you. If it weren't for the fact that I want to, like, actually savor the story instead of just skipping through it, I would skip her voice lines. I love almost everything about this game, but 
God, English voiced Paimon is so grating on the ears. Really? Wow. When you put it like that, it all makes sense. <laughs> In that case, his newfound stardom is well deserved. He was called away earlier by some people from the Tenryo Commission. They said they had something important to discuss with him. Mm. I thought they'd come to arrest if there's him options first. To Turns out See, the issue is she's our voice. It's Seems like... like they really respect the guy. It's like... Just a little while okay, ago, okay I can stop. Okay, I have a stop here. Um, it's similar to the silent protagonist shtick that, like, Destiny does. But at least our ghost in Destiny doesn't have an irritating voice. We don't speak in this game, which is my big problem, because she is so annoying. Thank you! Guess we'll go pay a visit to the Tenryo Commission. Yes, let's All go right. say hi to the Tenryo I'll Commission. I'll just stay here and carry on trying to fend off- Yep, fend off the crowd, go ahead. I don't care. Uh, oh my god. Story missions, also known as- <laughs> Yeah, it's- yeah, yep. <laughs> Cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. I don't mind the cutscenes. I just like it when it's not mainly Paimon. We can get, like, okay, here we go. We might get less Paimon here. Oh, Cena! How are you? Oh? It's you. Oh, Cena! Greetings. We were just discussing the repealing of the Vision Hunt decree. Since you're here, you're very welcome to listen in on the conversation. Are you, we how's invited the Mr. Family, Kaidahara Sina? here to extend a gesture of goodwill on behalf of the Shogunate. Your hard work has secured for us the agreeable state of affairs that we now enjoy. Also, I've been granted the chance to correct my clan's past mistakes. And for that, I'm deeply grateful. The Almighty Shogun has issued you're a large tired, array Sina? of directives wow. aimed at resolving... Sauce, or at Jesus Christ, you're already at the Pharaoh skin? Oh my god. The Tri-Commission has made the recommendation to use this opportunity to restore the honor of the Kaidahara name. <laughs> Somebody summoned Nova. The Kaidahara clan, I trust that you're already somewhat informed? Uh, yeah, I know everything. Short, I've heard it there before. was once a group of select bladesmiths who yep. served the Shogun directly, mm -hmm. responsible for upholding and further developing the traditional blade forging arts of the Almighty Shogun. The Kaidahara clan belonged to this class. Thank you for summarizing an, a limited time event storyline back in the day. Oh, comp runs starting. <laughs> Bye, Nova. But there came a time when some of these bladesmiths revolted and fled to Snezhnaya. Both the Kaidahara and Kamisato clans were held accountable for lax oversight and entered a period of great turmoil. Oh, no. We later learned that the whole misadventure had been secretly orchestrated by the Fatui. Attributing all of the blame to the Kamisato and Kaidahara clans was neither proper nor just. Considering Mr. Your Kaidahara has 55. once more made an outstanding Sheesh. contribution to I'm Yuzuma, like 30, the maybe? Almighty Shogun believes he should not only be maybe? rewarded for his achievements, like 25, but maybe? also receive recompense for the excessive punishment borne by his clan in the past. In the interest of preventing further harassment of the Bladesmith clans by the Fatui, we chose not to publicly release the findings of our investigations into these matters. We trust you can understand why this was necessary. Oh no, you didn't this get the place, you know, Rip. I am delighted to be in a position to receive the goodwill of the Almighty Shogun and the Shogunate at large. I don't think However, he's at home, would I be Sauce. To assume that this magnanimous I think he's at gesture like does not family, come without so. some strings attached. I can assure you that nothing could be further from the truth. We seek only to correct a past injustice. With the Kaidahara clan's reputation and occupation restored, the Kaidaharas will be bladesmiths once more, Yay. and your wanderings will finally come to an end. You will be able to lead a safe and prosperous life in Inazuma City with the Almighty Shogun's blessing and full support of the Shogunate. I have grown accustomed to life among the elements. I fear I would no longer feel at home behind the tall walls of a stately abode. <laughs> Stay Yet my ancestors did indeed take great pride in the name of Kaidahara and the art of blade making for which it stood. I do have a responsibility to restore their honor. I sense some hesitation in your words. Should you accept this offer, I imagine many of the malicious rumors currently circulating through the populace will disappear. Malicious rumors? All we heard on the way here was so much praise that we almost wondered whether there was another Kaidahara Kazuha in town. 
Well, to some, the Musa no Hitotachi uh... is something that can never be defeated. They cannot accept the idea that Mr. Kayadahara really parried the Shogun's strike. Uh, Sina, if you're asking me, I did not stop in at all either. So I wouldn't know. I don't know if Sauce did or not, but I did not stop in today. Also, eyewitnesses saw him using the power of Electro in addition to that of Animo. As a result, the falsehood that Kaidahara Kazuha was using a delusion began to spread. What? Oh. But that doesn't make sense! Using a delusion turns you old and frail, and Kazuha still looks fine! That is correct. However, yeah, he just to some people, the idea of a single chair. person wielding two elements at once is a more inconceivable notion still. Ah, has a This is chair. just one of many similar rumors. I am very uncomfortable with being the subject <laughs> of public discussion, no matter whether it brings suspicion <laughs> yeah, or stardom. <laughs> Sauced, yep. But perhaps if the shogunate is... Sauced, I am in me, the same boat as you. I'm just here for my boy Kazuha. This is precisely why I encourage you to give our offer some serious thought. It stands to benefit all of us. Hmm. Please allow me some time to consider. Go ahead. In fact, let us put this discussion on hold for the moment. Oh no. Don't well, address me. What brings the two of you here? Yikes! We nearly forgot about the most important thing! Thank God. Thank God. Off screen dialogue. Such a dangerous individual be looking for me. <laughs> no. This puzzles me as much as it does you. My fighting forms were taught to me by my family, based on techniques originally mm, developed swords. for blade testing. Sorry, katanas. We undergo rigorous training to standardize every motion the blade is put through, so that each can be fairly assessed for quality. Over time, these techniques came to form something of a Kaidahara sword art, focused on blade testing, but with a full repertoire of combat forms. Those forms are quite different from the more practical ones typically used by samurai in battle. So it's hard to imagine that the similarity you speak of was coincidence alone. Mm. All the more reason to you watch have a your map test on your second to last day before Christmas break? Indeed. Uh, good luck, have fun, sounds highly I guess? Aggressive. Anyone he targets is at risk of serious injury. Or worse. He in means case, death. I will send he some men out immediately to search for him. Thank you. I must say, I was I, I liked math up until a point. Order. Once it got into the and calculuses, I, some time to consider your I hated calc. But like geometry, trick, algebra, those were my jam. Her. Then give you a Why did it auto correct to funking? Yo, you're just vibing well. out. Please stay safe. You're just vibing. Come on. Let's go and track down your aggressor. Yep. See, there you are, Sula. The knows the most about what goes on in no. No, just... Just shut. Shut. Let's see what Ryuji no. has to say. Mm. Wait, how does math work for you guys? What do you mean, how does it work? I'm imagining math works the same for us as it works for you. <laughs> I don't think math is different like languages. You had a calc too? My brain just... My brain could not handle calc at all. It just couldn't figure it out. Calc 2 is the sequel to calc 1. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for it. <laughs> I had... So, you know, you... If, I, if only I had a face cam, I had the biggest shitty grin on my face waiting. <laughs> Just waiting for the reply. <laughs> boo boo! Hello. Yeah. More dialogue time. Hey there! I'd oh like god. To ask you a quick question. Let Kazuha take Do over. Do you know if anyone around here has been looking for him? Uh, for Kaidahara Kazuha, we mean. <laughs> Aha! So this is the renowned Mr. Kaidehara. I've heard a lot about you. It is an honor to finally meet you today. You are too kind. We are currently investigating an assault, and would appreciate oh, no. any help He's you in can the offer. Oh? You were targeted in an assault? Let me think. I can't seem to recall anything of immediate interest. 
Mr. Kaidehara is currently the talk of the town, so there are always a lot of people looking for him. Cat. To be honest with you, our detective There's agency has recently been receiving right many inquiries from people wishing to obtain Mr. Kaidehara's personal information. Some of them were offering us millions of mora just to gather the information they want. If these were more legitimate commissions, How's the game's going on? Them up in an instant. Pretty good, Boober. Just doing some story in Genshin. Just having a chill stream. M millions? Complaining of about Mora? Paimon's voice. Whoa. Oh, wait. Even at that price, you probably still shouldn't. Please, accept my thanks for looking out for my privacy. Of course. No matter what, we only take on legitimate cases. We don't make our money by okay. revealing details of other people's day-to-day -day life just for the sake of it. So, you know, what it is, is essentially, here in America, it's kind of like we take the grand, like, when it's a one and two, it's like we take the grand total of, like, in this case, calculus, and we cut it up into, like, like basically chapters almost and like calculus one is like the starting stuff the easier stuff the beginner stuff and then you once you pass that you'll go on to calc two which is like the later stuff the more complicated stuff the advanced stuff and yeah boo boo feck calculus thank you <clears throat> sorry i got a little off topic what I'm really trying to say is, it doesn't surprise me that a complete stranger oh, is looking boo -boo. for Mr. Kaidehara. Boo boo. I got, uh, yeah, you don't do that. Yeah, we like, we're stupid over here, so we have to break up our classes over semesters, Sina. So, you know, we're not smart. We're, we are, and we are America after all. We have to take things slow if we're ever gonna learn anything, and even then, it's, it's a miracle we do. But I wouldn't know where to begin if we want to connect this with an assault. Then let's put that connection aside for now. Have there been any other attacks or similar incidents recently? Yeah, Sauce, consider yourself lucky. I could nothing calculus the could click had for very me. Few leads, and I thought you might have some information from different sources. It's true that the commission Yes, I as a person am all of America. I am streets. garbage. But typically it's only the most trivial events that manage to escape their attention. If anyone had been out there attacking people, that would be assault, in which case the Tenryo Commission would absolutely get involved. <laughs> that does make sense. Uh-oh. Looks like the trail's already run cold. I still find it difficult to believe that whoever attacked you hasn't been causing any trouble elsewhere. It was a ghost. Few people possess your prowess in battle. So unless you were the first person he targeted, someone is certain to have been hurt by now. I am well aware of your talents. There is no need to be humble around me. So I'll let chat handle fact, that question. I don't that calculus. You were the one he targeted. <laughs> it would cause I think me so. great grief to see someone become critically injured or lose their life because of me. For the poor victim, this would be a completely senseless crime. Don't worry, we'll find him. Mm -hmm. It seems you are every bit the selfless hero they make you out to be, Mr. Kaidehara. Surely this same concern <laughs> okay, for your fellow Sina. man is what drove you to fearlessly raise your blade against the almighty Shogun. You flatter me. Truth be told, I don't know quite what came over me in that moment. <laughs> you are much too humble. Don't worry, I completely understand your concerns. I will try my best to gather whatever leads I can for you. Oh, actually, there was one strange incident over the last few days. It doesn't involve an attack, though. Let me tell you about it just in case. Mm. Sure. During times like this, the more information we have, the better. All right, then. Recently, two people went missing from the city at around the same time. Gasp. One of them is a pretty well-known collector, surnamed Nagato. The other, Amenoma Yuya, is a samurai from the Amenoma clan. Amenoma? Now there's a familiar name! Yeah. Right. Yuya is the nephew of Amenoma Togo, the owner of Amenoma Smith. Two grown men going missing at the same time. Hmm. 
Their mm. cases are likely connected, but I don't know much in the way mm, of details. Yes. Detective I recall work. this because Ame Noma Yuya is also an accomplished martial artist who is skilled with the blade. Perhaps he is the one you are looking for. Understood. Though it seems highly unlikely to me. I neither know this man, nor do I have any idea why he may wish to attack me. I like I like trig. Trigonometry was fun, as far as math goes. Thank you, Ryuji. We'll start by making some inquiries at the Amenoma Smithy. Sounds good. All the best with your investigation. I'll get moving shortly myself. Ah, if it isn't Kaida Harakazuha. My what God, he's a VIP. Huh? You two know each other? Yes, the Kaedahara and Amenoma clans were Are we both done with Genshin of the yet? Gokaden. Seen her? Historically, there no. have always been deep links between the two clans. I could play Destiny if After you want. After I returned to Inazuma, I visited Mr. Amenoma to pay my respects. Yes, you may recall the story of the ride in Gokaden from the Iridori Festival. Honestly, you'd prefer it. Their craft I, I know you're gonna say source. you prefer it. <laughs> Over time, <laughs> yep. each of us has arrived at a different blade-making philosophy. I'm just, you know, spawning the development of different branches of the I'm same trying art. to like lure As in an example, a sentient socket. The Amenoma I think. art strives yeah. to emulate the abiding patience. Apparently, he and can't resist this water. game and spending money. I mean, what? Stone to sand. There is nothing mystical to our work. There is only practice, day in and day out. Oh. Until both body and mind. Five hundred dollars in less than two weeks. Turning Wicked. each motion of every technique into an intrinsic part of the bladesmith's life. As for the art of the Kaidehara clan, I believe it's called the Ishin art. Mm. That's right. Ishin art strives for complete harmony between blade and mind from the moment that forging begins. For only a blade thus forged can capture and convey its maker's thoughts and feelings, and eventually become an extension of its wielder's will. Indeed. Most samurai choose their blades, but an Ishin blade chooses its owner. You are, without a doubt, the most worthy wielder of an Ishin blade. It gladdens my heart to see that although the Kaidahara clan has fallen on hard times, its ideals and virtues are alive and well. Yeah. You overestimate me. My actions are guided by my own personal sentiments, not by any noble aspirations on behalf of my clan. But let's get back on topic. The purpose of our visit today is to gather some information on yes, your missing we're detectives nephew. now. Mm -hmm. We hope to assist with the investigation. It may turn out that this case is connected to another we are pursuing. Ah, oh, yes. My nephew. I reported the case to the Tenryo Commission, but I haven't heard anything back so far. He didn't say a word before he left, which is very unlike him. I'm still completely at a loss on what to make of it. But I've done what I can so far. Worrying is futile. All I can do now is wait for the news from the Tenryo Commission. We heard that there was a collector involved in the disappearance too. Know anything about that? Yes. Mm. On the morning that Yuya went missing, he gave me a very cryptic look and said that he was going to give me a great gift. I believe he went to collect the item from Mr. Nagato after that. The next thing I heard was that a fire had broken out <laughs> at the warehouse. That, yeah. And neither of them came back. I've mostly learned to ignore it at this point after two years of this game, but it doesn't not annoy me. It's yes. very annoying. Strange, isn't it? I wonder what could have caused it. Unfortunately, there was very little evidence left behind. So nobody knows what really happened. Hmm. Do you have any thoughts on what you young Suna, man wanted to give you? I wish. If I, had I guess, wish. It must have been some kind of rare weapon. Otherwise, there would have been no reason for him to get my hopes up. 
He's never been particularly interested in blade forging, but has always had a fondness for blade testing, and can sense even the most minute differences in Let's blade Let's just quality. watch this NPC continue he doing his hand. He's extraordinarily talented in martial forging. arts, particularly when it comes to the art of the sword. Truth be told, we have some information that you may find to be objectionable. The person we are looking for, he attacked this friend of mine. Based on and the evidence sucked. we've gathered so far, only he not good. seems to match the suspect's profile. What? No. Absolutely impossible. Yuya is not that kind of person. God, it's the he demons again. Kind. He's been possessed Even or something. Even his training is done with the goal of calming his mind. He has never gotten into a fight before. Well, huh. that makes sense. He is sucked. That so. Yes. If there's one thing I can say for certain, it's that Yuya would never draw his blade without a very good reason. But, with that said, it's equally out of character don't, for him to just disappear. Don't. With neither farewell Don't even. nor fair warning. I also cannot know what course of action he might be capable of if coerced I'm on or no. otherwise compelled by circumstances unbeknownst to me. Anyway, should you find him, please let me know as soon as possible. Don't worry, you have our word. Mm hmm. Now what? Mm. Oh. From the sound of that, Paimon doesn't think Yuya was the one who attacked us as well. Yes. It sounds as if something happened when the two men met each other. Let's pay a visit to the Nagato household. Hmm. Where is that? Also, I wanna... Buy him. Want me to come along? In the group. Where are we going? Oh. Alright. Time to go! Up is doable for the... I'm too lazy to take the stairs. Behold. Nowhere? Over there. Squall Fury! Talking, we're talking to the person. I'm very sorry, but we cannot afford to pay what we owe right now. Oh, she's in debt with My the mob. has gone missing, and I'm still trying to find him. No, no, you misunderstand us. We are here to help with the investigation. We'd like to ask you some questions about <laughs> see Mr. That, this is a story. This is a story ah, we're going to be see. listening to talking. I thought the debt collectors had come to visit again. I'm sorry. It's okay, we're to gonna play we're gonna play the card There's game later. Card. I wanna I wanna do play you know where he's some of the missions I have to do. I'm afraid we don't have any new information yep. <laughs> at the moment. We're still trying to find out as much as we can to We should be search. about halfway done. With this in I mind, know when we're almost done we'll we have like a combat questions about your family's current situation. That we have to like select. Uh, for example, Paimon's struggling to understand why a collector would be strapped for Mora. He got in debt with the That's mom. A long story. I'm telling you. Ever since I've known him, he's been an avid collector of all sorts. Uh, do we of have things. to play the game? I mean, Overwatch is right there. We don't so have to play anything, but to me. I want to play this tonight. I knew tonight. nothing about the items myself, but seeing so, how enthusiastic and yes. excited they made him, I was happy to believe that they were just extremely important to him. Fine. <laughs> See, fine first got <laughs> if you want to play Overwatch, play Overwatch. <laughs> Go boot up your stream and play Overwatch. He lost his sense of restraint. He started buying more and more things. Oh, did that strike a nerve? Borrowing money just so he could pay for them. Our expenses really spiraled out of control when he started getting interested in weapons. Yeah, I'll play on my phone. I mean, you could awful. just, like, do the cloud days when things or whatever. Use, warehouse, like, the GeForce experience his weapons, or even as debt collectors were descending upon our Obviously. house. He wouldn't sell them, wouldn't even touch them. Just sat there staring Sina, at them. just get Overwatch on the, in the Nintendo Switch. I'm That's where it's at. Hobby, and I'm willing to support him. But making ends meet has to come first. I've tried oh, talking to him about it so many times, but he never listens. 
on the last day that I saw him. What's I wrong him with Overwatch on the Switch, Saw? I said, if he refused to sell <laughs> his okay, collectibles Sina, I don't have a Switch debts, either for now. I would divorce him Soon, and take TM. the children with me. And that led to an argument. What isn't wrong with Actually, it? Actually, <laughs> it didn't. Fair. Generally, he's a quiet Fair. man who likes to go with the flow. On most things, he leaves the decision making to I me. I love seeing like you must understand videos of like Fortnite of running on the Switch divorce. back in the day, the and it was just Plato. Just only Plato. After I said those words, he froze, and was silent for a long time. It's so bad. When he finally spoke, he. It would look better if it's on mobile. I mean, items to sell. this is a mobile game, so that anything looks better than Switch games back. at this point. But then what? If I didn't draw the line, what would happen to our family? She done complaining. I've honestly habits, tuned out at this point. Her husband got in trouble with the mob or something. I get and it. I also don't know if he had actually come to his senses or if he was simply angry with me. The next thing I heard was that our warehouse had caught fire, and both he and the buyer had gone missing. I see. I understand. Amin Omayuya came to purchase a weapon from Mr. Nagato. During the sale, a fire broke out at the warehouse, and both men disappeared. Is that at what first, she said? Thank I you. I assumed they must have gotten into an argument over the price. But my husband has never been one to negotiate. He never even haggles when he's out buying groceries, so it's hard to imagine him getting into a fierce argument. Hmm. Maybe he was feeling the pressure from the debts? I don't know. He just disappeared after the warehouse burned oh, down. Oh, it burnt down. I thought Perhaps it just was he's too on fire. To it just flat out burnt down. Mm, I think you fire, set the fire to kill your no husband. Way to pay off our debts. I found the murderer. <sighs> even though I'm still a little mad at him, we're a family. And I want us to face our family's crisis together. As long as he's willing to turn over a new leaf, I know we can work things out. Please don't get upset. There could be more to this situation than meets the eye. If collecting things is a habit that Mr. Nagato had his whole life, it is quite unusual for uh, this what habit happens to change when something is so fire? over You see the normal response is to try to put it out suggests Aminoma Yuya is also a I mean this man this game literally has people who can just argument. summon water hmm. this situation is like a little I don't think fires should be that big of a hassle more like completely mystifying yeah but Cena this this game Let's has people with magic scene. water power see if we can they can just literally hose the house down Rest without assured, even blinking we'll notify you if we find anything Thank you so much. I just want him to come now, home. Now, if this were like some sort of explosives warehouse, yeah, that that makes sense. But this is just like some antique warehouse. Yeah, okay. Now where? Oh. Based on the information we've gathered so far, we walk. I can only surmise. Wait, we were the over there, but we came the walking this way. Did we go like down, around, and back? The fire at the warehouse likely Dang, played a part please. in how the situation unfolded. Though its exact role is a mystery. Do mm. you have any thoughts? I think we should. Uh, no, no, um, no. Nope, never mind. No. Hyman's brain needs to rest for a while. Oh, can I roast her? I cannot roast her. An Darn. interesting explanation. I was also considering this possibility. Aminoma Yuya is an expert on swords. You could have noticed some problematic details Rose about D's. Mr. Nagato's collectibles. Yeah, go ahead. Maybe he recognized a blade as a fake, or a well-known stolen item. Either way, after arguing about it, the two men agreed to hide the truth of this matter. I think it's a, a fire would destroy possessed everything. cursed blade or something, because that man Tenryo didn't seem pretty normal. Began investigating when he, uh... and uncovered some incriminating <laughs> details. <laughs> when he attacked so us earlier, to protect their secrets, but. And I'm, I'm still going with the theory. demons. I can't imagine how they would have been able to reach an agreement. One fact that I keep coming back to is that Amenoma Yuya is polite and well-mannered, while Mr. Nagato is introverted and passive. Yep, Neither the demons. seems like the type of person who is inclined towards initiating conflict. Mr. Nagato, being heavily in debt, is also the only one of them with the potential motive to disappear after the fire. 
man the more woman, I man woman the, the more hiding. puzzling it becomes. Just what could have happened there? I think right. it's connected still. I'm blaming the, the demons. Although the time frame seems to broadly match, no other details that we've learned seem to link the two events together. Blaming the demons. Amenoma Yuya lacks a key distinguishing feature of the attacker. Namely, that he is principally a practitioner of the blade testing techniques of Amenoma art, not those of the combat oriented Ishin art. Mm. Darn! Wait. We mm. we... No. Let's keep going, since we've come Skip. this far. If we can solve the case, both Mr. Amenoma and Mrs. Nagato will be able to get some closure. Okay. I like how we're but detectives. Where should we go now? Let's head out of the city and check out the warehouse. There's still a chance we may be able to find some shreds of evidence. We're doing detective work. Where's the warehouse? That shouldn't be a warehouse, but I think that's just open road. This is this just cutscene? Wait. Waiting. We're walking back into the city the at this perspective. Another one of those sounds that only you can hear. <laughs> as sketchy as that whole thing seems, you did put it to good use when we were chasing down that vision thief at Beto's tournament, so... Throwback. Hmm. Now I'm picking up a strong scent in addition to the sound. It's right around here somewhere. Now he's gonna get, like, a strong feeling or something. But there's nothing here. Brilliant. It's gone now, but I can still sense the direction it left in. Mm. It felt very much like that ancient presence in Inazuma. The remnants of the Tatarigami. Indeed. But this unexpected Forget spring of inauspicious is. energy may prove to be of benefit like, to our like investigation. Bad stuff, I we guess? should remain vigilant and approach slowly. That's one thing I don't... Suspicious hatch. So it's an underground warehouse. See, it didn't the burn down. There's definitely there's, coming from down below. Still a... The source of the Tatarigami energy has long since left this place. See, this isn't but burnt the down. The hatch is still here. Still hasn't it's a little charred, completely. but judging from the concentration, I would have to conclude Let's not worry that about the Tatarigami the, uh, source resided here for a very long time. Behind it. Mrs. Nagato said her husband used to hang around the warehouse by himself a lot. It could well be that he was already under the influence of Tatarigami energy at that time. You're gonna sleep. Good luck with games and enjoy stream. Thank you, Sina. Good night. Sleep. Good. From what I've do been the, told, do the sleeps. Tatarigami does not turn all upon whom it preys into violent monsters. But most will develop a stubborn streak upon being exposed to the Tatarigami's unfulfilled will. Their interests become fanatical obsessions. Mr. Nagato had an interest in collecting to begin with. The influence of Tatarigami could explain why he became an obsessive hoarder, amassing more and more possessions, uh, even as he put himself in grave never, debt. No, my brain... Um, my brain so stopped at a bad time. <laughs> Step back. I'll open the door and take a look inside. Oh, it's not dangerous. If we don't open this door, we can move no closer to the truth. You needn't worry. Both of us have faced far greater dangers than this. <laughs> Relatively speaking, the risk here is trivial. <gasps> yes. Hmm. Hmm. What's down there? Everything's buried in debris. I can't see anything. Down. It looks I like the wrong. fire caused a cave-in, reducing the entire warehouse to rubble. That was too scary. No, it, I'm he was opened so a hatch. Boogeyman was about to jump out at us. Oh my God! All we can do now is keep searching in the direction that the Tatarigami Hi, energy Mom, source please. left this place. Two ordinary humans, entangled with the Tatarigami. I fear much misfortune has already befallen them. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Yes, let's go. 
If nothing else, it's vital that we find out where this Tatarigami energy is coming from. Quiet your mind. It's coming from under there. What you sense around you. Perhaps no. you. Eric has a. Oh. You be a cloud. Thank God I don't actually have to follow the cloud and I can just. Press V to navigate and it tells me where it goes. Take it. Oh, oh come on. I'm From this here. point, the trail appears to split into two. Uh -oh. The main source of the Tatarigami energy continued on into the distance, but a small portion remained here. And this is the same choice. Slowly. It just is. You've. This is. Mm, I hate these. It's one Quite choice, possibly. but they make it look like two. Let's search the area. Oh, boy. Something seems to be drawing your attention. Let's take a closer look. Ah, gotcha! Bow your head! The wind rises. The looks of it, a letter, written on a piece oh. of torn clothing. The ink is bone dry. It must have been written quite some time ago. Well, let's take a look. Uh... Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time you hear Paimon in the middle of an Overwatch game, you scream on the inside a little. Wanted to seize a blade belonging Understandable. to Mr. Nagato. <laughs> Yuya started the fire that destroyed the warehouse and wounded Mr. Nagato in the fight. Mr. Nagato kept chase as long as he could, oh. eventually stopping the here husband is to dead. write this uh -oh. letter when his strength gave out. So, where is he? Dead. He was not only mortally wounded, yep. but also under the heavy influence of Tatarigami. Add to that the fact that its aura seems to have attracted a horde of monsters, and I'm afraid he, he is may no longer be with us. Whatever traces there may have been of his fate beyond after this point, they've since been disturbed by the hilly churls. There's nothing more for us to find here. Yes, right now we need to uncover some more important truths. If Amenoma Yuya is attacking other people indiscriminately, then the longer we take to find him, the more people risk meeting the same tragic end. Right, so let's get moving. I wouldn't be surprised if he too fell prey to the influence of the Tatarigami. Blaming the For a demons. practitioner of the martial arts, the, the easiest desire to inflame would be their pursuit of further power and skill. All the clues that at first seemed disparate and disconnected. It seems that now we know the thread that runs between them. I have a hypothesis that, if it's correct, not only explains the series of events leading to the two men's disappearance, but also zeroes in on the attacker's identity. <clears throat> Gasp. Wait, you figured it out? So these two cases are connected after all? I believe so. But it's something of an outlandish idea. I will only be able to confirm my suspicions once we've met him in person. On with the search. We must stay vigilant. At any point now, we may find ourselves in danger. Never shall I do. Seems to have stayed here for a long time. Why here? Is there anything special?
special about this place? I'm not sure. But on closer examination, I sense that the aura may have lingered here at several different points in time. <laughs> Show yourself! It's no use hiding anymore! Uh -oh. It's the guy again! Kaede Harakazua. It's you, at last. It's me. Aha! So it is the same guy from before! What's your problem, huh? What could you possibly have against Kazua? Indeed, there should be no enmity between us. If it is Amenome Yuya that stands before us. It is the demons. But what if instead of facing Amenome Yuya, we are in fact facing the blade in his hand? The demons. Now that you mention it, it is giving off a strange light. Whoa, whoa. Surely you don't mean. Are you serious? Tatarigami energy often lodges itself within physical objects, then works to subtly affect any living organisms in its vicinity. The blade has resided in Mr. Nagato's warehouse for many years, affecting his state of mind, and more recently using the sail as a means to affect, or rather, as a means to occupy, Amenoma Yuya's body. Hmm. You're sharper than I thought. You've already deduced the truth of the matter. Who are you? Many, many years ago, I was forged by a famed bladesmith of the Ishin tradition. I was his pride and joy. In me, he placed all his hopes and dreams. As a descendant of the Kaidehara clan, you should be able to guess our greatest regret. No, but I presume it has it. something to do with the Raiden Gokaden. Indeed. At that point in time, he failed to live up to the Raiden Shogun's expectations. In the end, all he could do was to flee the nation by sea on a ship bound for Snezhnaya. He was a bladesmith of great renown, a master of his craft. There was nothing that he could not accomplish. All he needed was more time and a little faith. And sure enough, in the end, he achieved what he had set out to do. All of his life's work, his wisdom, his skill, it culminated in his creation of me. He not only bestowed upon me the greatest of strength, but also endowed me with a consciousness of my own. The demons. In her conceit, Sorry. the Raiden Shogun <laughs> lost not only the single most perfect blade in the entire world, but also an irreplaceable achievement in the art of blade forging. So, swords can become conscious and control people? The oh. people of the time in which I was born never believed I had that kind of power. They saw me as a mere blade, a sharp and well-crafted one, but in all other respects, an ordinary weapon. Hmm. But that gave me the opportunity to take action. After the death of my creator, I decided to leave Snezhnaya and began my long quest to return to the distant land of Inazuma. Moving from one person to the next, I controlled the minds of countless hosts along the way, each bringing me one this step a, closer to this my is ancestral something, home. I guess. <laughs> I seek but one thing to face the full force of the Raiden Shogun's blade and prove my power. The might of Isin art! Okay. Uh, Relax. So Amenoma Yuya was not your first victim. Tell me, what happens to those you've possessed when you've finished using them? My hosts? Who cares what happens to them? They are but tools that serve my mission. Well, it's a when they villain. Got tired oh, or injured or unusable, guess. I hopped to the next one in line. All I needed them for was to take me back to Inazuma. Mm -hmm. You're awful! After I returned to Inazuma, I decided to bide my time in Nagato's warehouse until Amenoma Yuya handed himself over to me on a silver platter. At long last, I'm approaching my journey's destination. By Amenoma Yuya's body, I have found you, 
and by your hand, okay. I shall defeat the Raiden Shogun. Okay, no. Haida Harakazuha, you <laughs> stood against the Raiden happen. Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. There can be no other to serve as my host for what is to come. Now, give your body over to me! Oh, sounds like we're about to do some combat. Hi, buddy. Check this out! Holy right history! Me! Submit to me! How amusing! Do you, do you mind? Hold the line! What's your Into the wind! Where'd you go? Know your place! Join me and Fire suffer that divine light! Behold! Show me right history! Do not stand in my way, or I will strike you down too! Your buff's uh. fooling no one! You've lost! Lost? I can never lose. It is this body that has reached its limit, nothing more. Even if you defeat me here, the one who falls will not be me, but this man. He is but a puppet that can be replaced. I can take a new vessel at will. The end result is the same! I will end this wretch's life before you can lift a finger! And even if I were to lose my physical form, it is but a small setback. My consciousness shall endure. Yeah, this sword has By issues. any means necessary and any medium available, I shall this return sword has... and fulfill my destiny! Yeah, this your sword has side. issues. It needs it is therapy. the forms of Ishin art. But from your movements, I sense only hatred and arrogance, as well as a thinly veiled mania and despair. Oh, oh no. Really? You can tell all that just from his moves? As I've uh -huh. mentioned before, the forms of Ishin art convey the user's thoughts and feelings. Since the blade is currently possessing Aminoma Yuya's body, its movements express the innermost thoughts of the blade. If you ask me, the mania is probably due to your desperate, single-minded ambition. You believe I am your only hope. Are you trying to claim that I am helpless without you? On his deathbed, he passed to me all of Ishin Art's secrets. The little that you know barely scratches the surface. In that regard, why would I ever need your help? Because all of that is in the past. X. I've been wondering why you've not caused more trouble in all the years that you've been in Inazuma. If you are indeed a cursed blade that can possess its owner. Now that I've seen inside your mind, everything finally makes sense. You weren't biding your time. You were trapped. <laughs> After all the time that's passed, you have grown weak. To the point that you are now unable to acquire a new host without making physical contact. Oh, that's right. Paimon remembers now. Mr. Nagato had a habit of never touching his collectibles. Only when Mr. Nagato witnessed his wife's distress and decided to sell his collectibles, did you finally have an opportunity to reach out to Aminoma Yuya and make your escape. And what of it? Well... That brings me to my second point. There's a despair in you that is so strong it threatens to overwhelm you. This man is just casually roasting You were determined to fulfill your maker's ambition, sword. whatever That's the cost. Something. But this ambition is too grand and too heavy for you to bear. Each step you have taken has come at a great cost. I think you realized your limitations long ago. The more you clenched your teeth and pressed forward, the greater your fear of losing everything you had achieved grew, and the more you wished to run from the truth. The cool sword. But the way I see it, 
What began as an ambition Demonic has long since evil, become a delusional fantasy. What would you know about any of this? I'm just one step away from achieving my goal! You returned no, you to aren't. Inazuma to prove the unparalleled brilliance of Ishin art. But to make this arduous journey, you committed countless atrocities and showed a blatant disregard for human life. Even if you were to sever that divine light, is this truly the outcome that your maker would have desired? You... Sure, you inherited the secrets of Ishin art. But even as you made your journey to honor this legacy, you treated the ones who wielded you as mere tools to do your bidding. How could you possibly unleash the full potential of Ishin art when you act in perfect discordance with the principle of harmony between a blade and its bearer? He's upset. Silence, you blabbering oh, fool! He's pissed. I must achieve my goal. This was his life's dream, and the very purpose for which I was brought into being! I will concede that you are most perceptive. You see my predicament clearly. But you also underestimate my resolve. And you should face reality. Oh, Easy for you to say. Um... Facing reality offers me nothing. I have no need of anything that would stand in my way. Not hesitation, not self-reflection, and certainly not your so-called reality. I'm just glad Paimon hasn't had much to say. This has been a nice breath of fresh air. to argue further, descendant of the Kaidahara clan. If you wish to save this man, then offer me your body in exchange. How stubbornly you stick to your wayward path. I do not believe for a second that you can challenge the almighty Shogun in your current state. So let us make a bet. Oh. And I will put your strength to the test. What? Surely you're not planning to agree to his demands. Very well. Then find yourself some enemies with whom you wish to cross blades. A taste of my power will more than convince you. Once we have dealt with them, we shall proceed to Tenshukaku. And as for your end of the bargain, if you lose, you must release Aminoma Yuya from your control. I accept. Don't do this, Kazuha! You're dealing with a cursed blade that can possess people. Really? This is the only way we to save Aminoma no Yuya. We had no idea. If we don't do this, he'll forever be the blade's puppet. The Cursed Blade's strength is currently very weak, and I sense he's hesitating. This suggests his heart is still not completely devoid of honor. The power of the Tatarigami lies in intensifying existing obsessions. This is the reason Mr. Nagato and Aminoma Yuya fell prey to it. Since I don't have any similar kinds of obsessions, I should be able to put up some resistance for a while. But... Water armor. So... Wicked. Even if things take a turn for the worse, I still have you both here with me. We have a chance here to save an innocent victim. I am willing to accept the risks entailed. Your disdain for me betrays your woeful ignorance. I agreed to this bet because there are things I wish to learn too. Now, take me in your hand. Um... Ooh, demon sword. I... I'm okay. I felt a little dizzy at first, but only for a moment. It's all right. So far, this was as I expected. I will. Thank you. What should we do next? Have you got a plan, Kazuha? We find some enemies. Yes. Although this blade has endured much turmoil, it probably hasn't experienced many real fights. Oh. If a blade built for Ishin art cannot enter a state of harmony between blade and bearer, it cannot unleash its true power. If he wants to avoid reality, then we need to fight until he has no choice but to face it. He shouldn't last long in an intense combat situation. Where? 
of it, Paimon remembers hearing about something from the Adventurers Guild. Oh, you sure did, since did you? Since the Takatsukasa clan abandoned that secret base, it's been held by Ronin ever since. Ah, oh, all right. Please lead the way. What about Amanoma Yuya? What should we do with him? The blade says he'll let Amenoma Yuya trail us silently. Although he hasn't regained his own consciousness yet, he is not in any immediate danger. We have a zombie Let me with us? This is a good idea. It's a pretty treacherous journey. Yeah, we're gonna teleport okay, to it. Okay, fine. Just be careful. I don't even remember. I know what they're talking about. It was. Ah, yes, it's over. That rings a bell. Which means I believe we're just about done. Come on, please just stop. Yep. Yep, how's the Overwatch? Too slow. Lost. <laughs> Good news is, me. I think we're about slow done. Fury. And then I can. Shove the Paimon voice acting for a little bit and play some cards. You're winning so far? Good. We love we love not losing. Not losing is good. Okay. Don't need him because it's gonna give us a trial version. Barry. It's been a while since I've limbered up. No. Paimon is the reason you stop playing this game? Yeah. Oh, I'm just Kazuha. Okay. Ooh, I get the sword. It's a real sword. A normal charge of punching attacks hit an opponent. Um... Leave everything on this journey to me. Guys, come here. The wind knows me. Back here, nerds. Into the wind. He's not meant to be the main DPS. So I don't like this. Oh, okay. Look, you guys are all here. One with nature. Oh, hey. My plate. Where's Sina? This is Winden a lot of men. To the fairy. Finally, I. Finally, I. How are you feeling? You okay? I'm all right. The blade is performing largely as I expected. Having gone so long without proper use and maintenance, it's become very difficult to use. Resisting the demon Though blade. he's making every effort to persevere, I do not think he can last much longer. Hmm. Something else on your mind? Tangry. How strange. Rather than trying to control me, he is instead trying to match my fighting rhythm. Let's keep going. I like how the dude who he the blades just kept as a zombie is just hanging out. Is the blade is oh chest. The blade is like evil, but it's not letting the guy go. Yo, look at this guy, cows just. Let's get down to business. Over here, I need fire. Come here. The wind knows me. Say no more. Come here. Into the wind. Time to go. Finally. Oh, you stuck. Let's get down to business. Everyone group up on me. Thank you. Clouds high. The birds call. Something's up with the blade. I can sense that his strength is slowly fading away. The blade is becoming more and more difficult for me to wield. Uh -oh, he so cannot that... hold out much longer. If he keeps persisting, he will likely break apart at any moment. But what would that do to Amanoma Yuya? 
I will be careful with it. He also says he does not have any plans to give up easily. Of course not. The demon He's sword is still persistent. trying to achieve his goal. The, like hundreds of years old demon sword is very persistent. This looks like a final boss area. This, this screams final boss. Oh. oh, hi. You like fire? Oh, you are tanky. I don't like that. Time to go. Okay, look at that. We love the main ability being an extra instance of 1700 damage. Into the wind. That's so huge. Direct nerds. I yes. was not. And it looks like he's reached his limit. The sheen's grown a bit dimmer again. It doesn't look anywhere near as impressive as it did at the start. Perhaps this time, we'll finally have a chance to see his true form. True form? What are you talking about? Uh, huh? What the? Is this the same blade as before? It looks like a piece of junk! Oh. Oh, it does. That's that's toxic. If you though. choose to continue in the state you're in, you wouldn't even be able to beat Samurai and Kairagi, much less the Almighty Shogun. Maybe you did truly wield power to rival the Shogun's light when first forged, but the long journey from Snezhnaya back to Inazuma has left you battered and broken. It barely needs stating anymore. Your ambition is a flight of fancy. Really listen to you. I and, finally uh, figured out not. why it was that you agreed to my bet. You wanted to reach a state of harmony with me. For perhaps then you would still be able to wield commendable power. But regrettably, we are nothing alike. I will never understand your obstinacy and cruelty, nor can I empathize with the one who made you. The only one who truly understood you had already passed away by the time you were born. Take them down. Oh, hi. Hi, guys. Where do they keep coming from? Yep, yep. We can help this time. What did we get to help? Don't worry. I'll use my own blade. It's just more of the same. Is it. Oh, come on. Not this stupid sword. I'm still stuck with only him. With nature, adorn my night. Wind strike. You fought way better with your own sword. <sighs> you are a true Kaidehara in flesh and in spirit. Though we fought briefly together, you have seen me for who I really am. No one knew anything of my story throughout my travels, nor did I tell it to anyone. You are the first person to know the truth. Oh, I'm special. Though. I thought that if I could achieve Ishin harmony with you, perhaps there would still be a ray of hope for me. But in this too, you have failed. Oh, indeed. No matter how hard I tried, I could not attain that perfect harmony that your personal blade does with you. Too much time has passed. My physical state is poor, and without proper maintenance, I can only disguise my true appearance behind an outer sheen. Not so high and mighty are you now, Yours demon sword. Yours is the blade that took on the Muso no Hitotachi. And what a magnificent blade it is. Perhaps... I shall never reach that level of glory. You suck, Actually, man. this is just a generic blade that I picked up during my travels in Liyue. Oh. What? Forging and maintenance are both important for a blade, but they are not everything. 
This blade has traveled the land with me for many years, and we have formed a close bond during that time. Plus, in the moment that I most needed it, I received aid from another power. Skill, blade, determination, and desire. Are we still, are we still lecturing the, the demon blade? Art. <sighs> there is something else I must tell you. Though your maker may not have been aware, your ability to possess your own consciousness derived from the power of the Tatarigami. Tatarigami is a malevolence from the ancient past. It is the source of your mania and savagery. Though you tried to cooperate with me while I was wielding you, the part of you driven by Tatarigami was constantly trying to seize control of my body. I sensed it, but I couldn't change it. It is an integral part of my consciousness. Mm -hmm. I resisted its temptations because I wanted to save Amenoma Yuya. But I do not know whether you yourself have any intention of trying to fight it. I feel a great sense of regret for you. Since you embarked on a journey bound for a destination you were destined never to reach. Oh, don't pity the, the demon you embarked blade. on this journey, you lost the only person who could have ever unleashed your true potential. And yet there was no way for you to turn your back on his ambition. You have known this for a long time. It is the true source of your despair. He gave me everything. My life, my form, my consciousness, and purpose. How could I possibly deny him his wish? I said to him, do not worry. From here on, I shall forge your legacy. How could I go back on my word? Aww. I believe our bet is now settled. I have nothing further to say. Oh. Yeah, that's Where right. Where are you going, Kazuha? That way. He now has neither the ability nor the motivation to cause further harm. Let's give him some time to reflect on things. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. I want the chest. It was somewhere I've never been. A bladesmith lay quietly on the bed, his frail face barely visible under the moonlight. His breaths were weak, and his life near anyway. its end. A newly forged blade lay by his side, listening attentively to his final words. Wow. That was the blade's memory, wasn't it? Indeed. While in exile in Snezhnaya, the bladesmith eventually learned the truth behind everything that had happened. The Ishin art had been dealt a devastating blow by the desertion of its best smiths. He spent the rest of his life in the forge, mm -hmm. not to vent his frustration and hatred, but to atone for his actions. He felt intense regret at being tricked by the Fatui, but he could never again return to his homeland. His sole wish was to one day return his single proudest creation back to the land of his birth. So he instructed this sentient blade to find a way back to Inazuma, no matter how long or how hard the journey. But he never wished to rival the gods. That was a long pause. All he wanted to show was that they once shone brilliantly as blade and small, smooth, not so important message in the DMs. Says Wes. So that's the true story. But not after so important. That, the blacksmith's intentions were worked by the Tatari Gami, slowly turning his proud creation into the cursed blade of today. Right. You I know, believe the bladesmith might never have known up. that the power he worked with was that of the oh. Tatarigami. The hatred within that oh. power is what sent the blade down its ill-fated path. This blade has committed unforgivable atrocities, but only because it lost its original master. No one was there to correct its gotcha, errors Wes. when it was losing its way. <sighs> Good luck with that. Shame it's too late now. Yes, it is too late. Time would not wait or stop because of his determination. 
While the world moved on, his ambition remained stubbornly stuck at that fleeting moment at the dawn of his journey. He seems to have calmed down, though. Let's go and check in. No, let me grab the chest first. Oh my god. So don't immediately put me into a cutscene. When I look back at the past, I can remember the day of my fortune like it was just yesterday. I once told him that I would pay any price to fulfill his wishes. Such was the debt I owed to him for giving me the gift of consciousness. Yep. But darkness and slaughter numb the mind. Sure do. Over time, I lost sight of the difference between gratitude and grudge. That's a movie. Not only did I fail to fulfill his ambition, I also defiled it. Oh, boo -hoo. You are finally seeing reality clearly. Since we agreed to Do the I get the sword? That, it had stats we'll honor and stuff. The I wonder if I get the sword. And release Amenoma Yuya. But I still cannot bring myself to forsake his ambition. It is the entire purpose for my existence. I get sword? So, may I ask you to help me fulfill the ambitions of myself and my creator? Doesn't have a good Gee, secondary stat, so I won't use it on Kazuha, it but has if to I be get done it, in I this order. At somebody. least hear what we'll I have to say. And if you don't agree, I will still release Amenoma Yuya as promised. Being generous. My now, physical right? form, as well as the knowledge I possess, should still be of some value to you. His huh? attitude has grown a lot milder. What do you think, Kazuha? Should we give him a chance? Let's hear it. Thank you all. When I was first forged, my maker was already terminally ill. He told me that he had wanted me to have the grandest opening battle. Alas, after that, he never rose from his sickbed again. Oh, Nor have I sword. ever had the chance to prove myself in battle sense. My fights were devoid of any noble meaning. They were merely the next step in my never-ending journey. The next in a long line of transgressions. You are a fine warrior. I would like to request your hand in battle and experience a true duel between samurai. Oh? And who would be the opponent? I will release Amenoma Yuya and restore his consciousness. <laughs> After, After that, that, you can fight him. You can convince him to commit to a fight with you. <laughs> he must have plenty of reasons to both hate me and desire a good fight. I kind of about to Then let's start by waking him up and seeing if he has the stamina and will to fight. I see. He used my body to inflict harm on others. I utterly despise him and his actions, but since he stayed true to your agreement by releasing me, he must still have some remaining semblance of honor. If a duel can help to set this state of affairs in order, I am willing to put myself forward. I do not wish to be a mere victim in this story. Yeah. There's no need to worry. We'll vouch for your innocence to the Tenryo Commission. It was the demon sword. Thanks for your help. It wasn't him. Who knows how this would have ended without your intervention. All right, then let's move on. More Ronin could appear at any moment. We can't stay here. In any case, for a final duel, I think we should aim for a greater sense of ceremony. Well, we going to chest. Big chest. Oh. We love getting all the treasure. Where are we going? Fulfill the cursed blade's wish. Where about? On a beach? That doesn't seem like the greatest scenery, but if you say so. Behold. This reminds Paimon a bit of the Crux Crash. 
Yep. I missed we the... still can't let our guard that down. Was a cool... Even now, Hyman has a sneaking suspicion that blade hasn't told us everything. What? The evil blade is still yeah. withholding information? Even if he's no way. The of redemption, it's hard not to feel a teensy bit sorry for him. Are you ready? Is ready? this a cutscene or a gameplay? Okay. All right then. Stop talking to the sword. Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. Successor of Amenoma Art, Amenoma Yuya. Honored to cross blades with you. It is my honor also. Let's see. Oh no, just fight. Okay, I get Kazuha. Hey, look. Here. Oh, you're tanky. Okay, we're gonna cheat. We'll use my abilities because you are a little tanky thing. Into the wind. Yeah, you, you tanked that like it was nothing. I'm, oh, come on, guys. Get back in One with nature. No. Thank you for the experience. Although he appears battered and broken, in your hands it seems he's regained a glimmer of brilliance. His sense of savage cruelty has completely faded away. But that same sense of determination remains strong. You also fought well. I'm sure he relished the experience. There are a few things that I uh, should Yeah, it's to a tell demon you sword. It possessed that guy we just were fighting. For all that has yeah, transpired. Sweet. You need not seek my forgiveness. Human sword. Nor do I have the right to forgive you on your victim's behalf. It is too late for all of that. I do not wish for forgiveness. I only hope that you will see my transgressions. You looked cooler as mine before alone, we like, and not let them stain the legacy of Ishin art. I strayed far from the straight and narrow path, but the Ishin art still has a worthy successor in Kaede Hara Kazuha. Yeah, that's great and all, but your you. stats suck for Please this guy, so you're this. not you're not gonna stick yes. with Kazuha. I too trust Mr. Kaedahara to do the right thing. Your stats Thank suck, you, nerd. Successor of Amenoma Art. This blade has also told me that he has another wish. He would like to visit the Amenoma Smithy. Uh he needs Maybe a we can go he back needs a facelift. Together. What does he want to go there for? A facelift. I am not sure. But I think that all this is about to come to an end. Squall and Fury. Oh. Rough to music change. <sighs> Too slow. It's Yuya! You have returned! It was the demon blade. You. It's all thanks to them that I was able to return safely. Oh, thank God. We get a dialogue skip. A prized Ishin blade. Turned weapon that controls the human mind. <sighs> Considering their forging philosophy, this was indeed within the realm of possibility. This is a great pity. But I have some good news as well. Ryuji from the Bontan Sango Detective Agency Wait, tells alive? me that they've found the missing Mr. Nagato. Was, uh... <clears throat> really? Is he okay? No. Yes. Badly wounded, oh. but he will. Yeah, we live. don't kill characters off in this game, and I guess. That, yeah, that back, doesn't happen much. It seems like the final ending to this story is a happy one after all. I think I now know and what again, you want to but do. Very What's wrong, rarely. Is the blade whispering in your ear again? He's yes. hearing the voices. He said he wants to take control of me for a brief moment. Oh god, he's gonna kill everyone. What? No way! Hasn't it learned its lesson? 
He tells me that Shut he's up. thought of another way to fulfill his maker's wish. And he assures me that he won't use my body for anything nefarious. It's okay, I'll beat you up I if he does. I have decided to let him do it. Oh. You, but he... Thank you. Skip. I will explain my reasons later. Okay. I am ready. Let us begin. Please, stay true to your promise. That scene? Not really. Well, maybe. <laughs> my power is almost spent. Without him, my eventual demise is inevitable. But if I abandon the future to give everything I have in this moment, my physical form can be forged anew. Everything? You mean... Yes. The cost is my entire consciousness. <laughs> Is the sword gonna forge itself? The power? Ooh. You were right. There's nothing that I can accomplish now. But there's still a chance for Ishin art. Once remade, I will be a valuable resource for your studies. Ishin lives on, and its finest power is yet to come. Even if I am not the one to prove its might to the Shogun, as long as it is an Ishin blade, crafted by Kaedehara hands, it will still fulfill his final wish. How's it look now? Thank you, son of the Kaedehara clan. Over the years, my real name has been forgotten by all. I'm ashamed to utter it. Yet it remains strong in my mind. Kagotsurube Ishin. This name is now yours. To keep. That looks. Now it's a good looking sword. Rest in peace. The fancy looking sword we got there. So. That's why he said it had to be done in that order. His consciousness will disappear forever after fulfilling the bladesmith's wish. Mm -hmm. Kagotsurube Ishin. It was the first time I ever heard his name. It seems like deep down he disapproved of his own actions. And thus chose to bury this name deep within his heart. Only in the final moments... Before his consciousness this faded, to be was he willing to yeah. entrust it to another? Seems like he really, really wanted to fulfill his maker's wish. The same fervent ambition that gave him the motivation to keep going forward also fueled the stubborn determination that blinded him to the path ahead. Speaking for myself, I'd rather see him recognize and atone for his mistakes than see him punished for them. I understand. Perhaps this is a flaw in my personality. I've always been captivated by grand aspirations. Hearing his wish to rival the divine light touched something inside of me. Just as the sight of those who fought to repeal the vision hunt decree did, your quest to face the gods and trace your sibling inspires me in the same way. Mm. After everything I've seen, Perhaps these pursuits fascinate me a little more than they should. Oh, Kazuha. I will continue to support you from this point on. Know that you will have my assistance whenever you need it. Wait, shouldn't we also go update Kujo Kamaji? No. Oh, you're right. Damn it. We need to tell him about the findings of our investigation. I thought we were and done. And it's also time to give him a response to the offer he <laughs> made me. I thought we were done. God damn it. You get this close and they're like, nope. More. Oh, he's over here now. Thank God. What the? You're like, ah, he's quiet. returned. Sick. I hear that the issue has been resolved. Uh, though this was a treacherous investigation indeed, we're most fortunate that no lives were lost. The Tenryo Commission has already attended to the danger at the warehouse. The investigation in Tama no Yuya should conclude soon. 
I do not believe he will be charged with any crime. Good, it was the demon wow, sword. You sure kept your ear to the ground. Then we needn't recount all the details again. Now, as to your earlier offer, I wish to give you my answer. Please, take a look at this blade. What's this? Kagotsurube Ishin. A weapon crafted using a long-lost blade forging art of the Kaidahara clan. By means of a series of fortuitous events, I was able to recover and restore him. I also promised him that I will continue to study and pass on the secrets of Ishin art. And so, it looks like I will likely continue with my journey across the nations, learning more about this blade as I go. Uh, I see. I understand. The Kaidahara clan has always been a family of bladesmiths, so it is only proper for me to continue on this path. Mm -hmm. Were I to accept your goodwill, I may find myself embroiled in conflicts between the Shogunate and Sangonomiya. That would not suit me. Ah, uh, you misunderstand. That was most certainly not our intent. Sure was. Probably. I am aware, but I still desire to continue walking my own path. Very well. I can understand. Then let's pretend this offer was never raised. However, if you should ever change your mind or find yourself in need of the Shogunate's assistance, please do not hesitate to inform me. Great. Thank you for your generosity. Where will you travel to next, Kazuha? Hmm. I'll probably take to the seas with Captain Beto again for now. Hmm. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. <laughs> Get it? Just the type of power he uses, huh? It's clever. I think I've ever done. <laughs> I think you I... must have a whole bunch of questions after our last conversation with Nahida. Oh, uh, now it's putting me right into the next story. Didn't want to seem too pushy. Like, about these descenders. So, does that just mean people like you who come traveling to Devat from someplace else? for your brother <sighs> so many questions let's go find Nahida and see what else we can find out no not today no bad bad Genshin automatically throwing me into another story uh, oh no let's go I want to do those go here and I want to do one round of card game against something. Someone. I... Uh, who do I want from this group? Hmm. Go with. Yeah, we'll go with. I'll give it my all. There will, but it ain't gonna matter. Oh, they could do. F Ooh, and swirl. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have picked June. Uh. I need to get Minty Mute. Okay, I'll just get all food. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's go out and play. Uh, okay, they start with Jean. Mm, still garbage, but I guess we yeah. can Oh, you... You're gonna make this so much harder than it needs to be. Let's start by putting that on here for later. You're gonna make this so much harder than it needs to be. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Don't Let's do it again, I'm you. going to cry. If you're gonna do it again. No, thank god.
Surely you end your round. Okay. That gives me... That sets me up for next round. Yeah. Lunge my arm. So I have my energy charged. I just need to roll enough pyro. That is not enough. Oh, come on, game. Don't do me dirty like this. There we go. That's better. Don't switch me to. Uh, sure, let's see what we fetch with food. Sure. Are we playing? Yeah, no, this is Magic meets Hearthstone, but Genshin. It's actually annoyingly fun. I hate it. It's both simple yet complex, and that's. Oh, man, there's Levin. I needed you like last round, instead of all this food. Okay, we want cryo. That is a lot of cryo. Don't. Yeah, none of those matter. Who okay. cares? This is a fast action. Perfect. Let's. And. <clears throat> Kami Satoyaka, present. I'm a little low on. I should be able to do this, but let's convert that. So I have three. Oh, I should be able to, yeah. Now, one turn kill. Sure, yeah, we'll just... Don't do it again. I, well, I guess I can kill any of your characters if you swap again. <laughs> swap on me, do it. No. Nope. Does that heal you? Oh, it will heal you at the end of the round. Well, you're not gonna see the end of the round, so... Boy, has everyone stopped? <laughs> was that the wrong move? Yes, it was, NPC. Mm, okay, I was gonna say, don't freeze me. I swear to God, I will cry. And this, this is far from optimal. There is, and <laughs> insult to injury. <laughs> Just give up. Stop fighting. It's not worth the struggle. One turn kill complete. Turn three, one turn kill. <sighs> that is a little cheesy, but it's in the game. They designed the game. They don't make My mistakes. Strategy needs developing. They only work their workers probably like 60 hours a week, I'm sure. Like, let's be real here. They don't they don't have the ability to make mistakes. What do I have here? Oh. Rewards. I don't use that. I also don't use that, but... Okay. Do you have a tavern challenge for me? You do- oh, you have two. Uh... Win without losing a single character. Oh, that might be difficult. Let's find out. Oh, god, what the heck is this hand? Um... No, 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 no. Oh, this hand is worse! <laughs> Let's go out and play! Oh god, two mirror maidens. What are they even- Oh, no. That is a bad roll. That is an equally not good roll, but we'll make do. What do you do? 
Deals three. Target character receives refraction. The character takes plus one. Oh my god, you're gonna try to nuke me. Let's just make this quick then. Refraction. How much is this? So one, so three, F5. I need to make an extra. I don't want to play this card. No. No bad. Bad. The auto, like, mana picker there is a little wonky at times. It's pretty good, but it... You're gonna deal one Hydra damage. Got it. That won't kill me, and I'll start first. I just need... Three... Oh, and a Gambler's. Okay, that's good. Oh, I don't even have to worry that much. I'm gonna get two Omni. Get two for any element. So I'll have the two wild cards to work with. Get that. That's fine. Garbage roll, but it gives me... I have four wild cards to work with. And I really don't even need to use the rest of that. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Oh. I'm gonna actually swap. Time for some training? Just so it doesn't kill my character, because I'm supposed to survive without a character dying. If I wanna like get all the rewards. So instead of losing my character that's on one HP. Oh, wait. Okay. I get nothing useful at this juncture. Give me a lot of ice. That is uh, manageable for. Hmm. These aren't good. Oh, but I don't have. Mm. This is gonna get expensive quick. Because I don't have any... Uh, she's still gonna... She's gonna cost three per... It work. Let's convert... These to that. I await your instructions. You're gonna do what? Five, one... Five. Bruh! What? You're gonna do that much? That is a jerk move. Alright, well, time to murder. Yeah, and then you're gonna kill me, so I'm only gonna be able to kill you. Fine. Then you're gonna swap and do five. Winter, shall but I have seven to work with. Is that it? And you got pyro. <laughs> got you. Gonna hurt. There goes the winning without. And there goes without losing a character. Hmm. Present. Yes. But My turn. Is that? This I is for killing my character. I have to like revisit this and refine the fight, but oh well. Come. Alas. Yeah, I got one of the ability. Oh well. Oh, but I did finish a TCG challenge. Oh, nice. A thousand points.
Um, that. That doesn't do. That is where I think I'm gonna end this stream. It's went a little longer than I wanted, but story quest end too. Um, let's see. I see Sako's life, which is good. How long? How recently? Oh, is he stalling? He's stalling. He's been live for 25 minutes and he's not in game yet. He's stalling. Just gonna call him out. He doesn't want to play Alien. Um, but instead of raiding Sako, we're gonna go raid the GCX event channel, which is Gaming Community Expo. Expo. But right now they're hosting the Twitch broadcast for Dr. Lupo's uh, Build Against Cancer charity event. And right now they're playing Uno, it looks like. So, that's a fun one. And it's for St. Jude. They're currently at 587,000 raised in about eight, eight, nine hours. He wants to play Fortnite. He's, he's just giving up on Alien. That's unfortunate. This chat has follower or subscriber only chat. Ugh, I don't care. Twitch, I want to raid the charity stream. Alright. Well, thank you for anyone who hung out, even though it is not your cup of tea. <clears throat> Cena, for one. <laughs> uh, and I'll definitely be back on Monday with Minecraft. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend.